So how's it going, folks? I'm going to make this quick. There's a storm a coming. So I got to get done here pretty quickly. Um, and the power's out at my house. Um, Renetto's back. And some of you might be saying, who's Renetto? Why are you talking about Renetto? What's a Renetto? Um, so Renetto's been around. He was one of the early, like, YouTube guys who went viral and got very, very popular off of YouTube. Um, and he was, it was, a, he, he, I was subscribed to his channel. And I would say that he was kind of instrumental in me having a channel and, and continuing to be on YouTube. Um, but here, here's the interesting thing. I had unsubscribed from his channel. And um, because he wasn't putting out content. He hadn't put out content in years. And so I'm like, why be subscribed to a channel that's not putting out content, right? So, so I unsubscribed from his channel. And today, I got a notification that he had liked and hearted a comment that I had made 10 years ago on one of his videos. And I'm like, what the heck? No, not 10 years ago, six years ago, six years ago, six years ago. And it was a video that he had made about him being on YouTube for 10 years. And I had been on YouTube for 10 years as well. Um, so I went and I checked out uh, the first video that he put up about four days ago. And then a video that he put up uh, just a couple days ago, too. I'll probably end up going through and, you know, watching all of his most recent videos. But it got me thinking about, like, how long I've been on YouTube. And I don't, you know, I don't normally comment about other channels and what else is going on on YouTube and... I don't get into that YouTube drama, but there's like, there's a group of people that have been on YouTube almost since it started. And some of those people are gone uh, from, you know, not only just from YouTube, but from this earth. Uh, and others... I think are still, you know, are still kicking around and they're somewhat successful. But I couldn't help but think about about Renetto, uh, Paul Robinette. And I mean, I'll be honest, like occasionally I he'll enter in, my, in into my brain like every 6 or 7 months or so and I'll go check out his channel and there's no content there. I'll look him up on Instagram or Facebook or something like that and check out what he's been up to recently. And, you know, we make these connections online and we don't realize how much people on the other side of this camera become a part of our lives. Whether we're watching them or like you're watching my content. And we kind of all, if you've been posting videos on YouTube for years, there's a core group of people that pretty much will watch anything that you put out. Now, I never got the number of subscribers that Paul got ever, ever got close to that. I mean, I'm... I'm at 1,500 now and I'm still not monetized because I don't make long videos. I don't make 30, 40 minute videos that the algorithm likes and wants to promote and tries to keep people watching. And I don't do vlogs. I, I, I don't do this, right? But man, I, I was just, I saw that notification. Actually, it was an, I was looking at my, checking my email. 
checking my email and I saw that Renetto hearted your comment. I'm like, what? And then it was something from six years ago. I thought, honestly, the first thing I thought was someone had taken over his channel, that someone had hacked his channel and was going to use the influence that he had built uh, and capitalize on it. And I was glad to find out that that wasn't the case. But man, Renetto's back. Renetto is back. I don't know. I, I I don't know what to think about it. I'm 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 gonna watch his videos. Um, I'm looking at the lengths of some of these, and and this, and honestly, I don't like watching videos that long. And man, he can ramble. He can go on and on and on and on. And I get it. it it's who he is. He's, he's he's like doing these brain dumps. It's this top of mind type thing. And I get that. Um. But. You know, I followed his channel. I was subscribed to his channel for years. Years. Uh, and I don't, I'm don't. i not going to say he dropped off the face of the earth. He dropped off the face of YouTube, really. But man, I remember when he made that song, you know, two bit, two bit, two bit, everybody's doing it. Two bit, two bit, everybody's doing it. You know, I mean. <laughs> Holy smokes. And just like. All these memories flooded back of what YouTube used to be like. When a small channel like mine could make an impact. When a small channel like mine could get 100,000 views on a video about how to hack an old Logitech webcam and use it with a telescope. And it's kind of like now it's, you know, I'm lucky to get a hundred views on a video. I mean, I got some that are, you know, that are doing okay, but, but man, just all these memories started flooding in of all these other channels and uh, Ray William Johnson's channel and just all these other channels that I used to watch that aren't around anymore. And I don't know, like I said, these people, I don't wanna say, it's almost like they were family, right? There was a group of people on YouTube, and I, I'll admit, I always felt like I was kinda on the outside of this because I wasn't, I didn't have a popular channel. Okay, I didn't have a popular channel, uh, but I was in the comments, right? So I'm like that third cousin that shows up to the family reunion and everyone's like, whose kid are you? And, and, and that's how, <laughs> that's honestly how I always felt when I showed up in the comments or, or remember when you could re reply, you could, you could record a video and reply to someone else's video. And I remember I did that once with, with one of Paul's videos and a couple of other creators as well. Uh, I think that thing's, that, that video's long since gone, but man, I was just like thinking, like the nostalgia just came in, just came flooding in. But I'm glad to see he's back, right? I'm glad to see Renetto's back, Paul's back. He's gonna be making videos. I. There was a window of time when he was talking about building businesses and uh, manufacturing, like like when they when he built the chair and and, and he was going through and doing these iterations of uh, the, the tent. He invented a tent that you could just like step. You know, it's like you, you've seen the tents before, right? You go in, boom, you pop it up, and it and it's up. That's Paul Robinette. That's Renetto. You know, those those canopy chairs where you pull the thing over your head. That's Renetto. That's Paul Robinette. That's hello, YouTube, or however he does that. That's sound, sounding more like squiggy. Um, the locking mechanism that's on a dumpster that, that 
that keeps the lid locked but allows the trash truck to come up and dump it that's that's Renetto that's Paul Robinette <laughs> and so when when he started I was really interested when he started talking like there was this window of time on his channel when he was talking about entrepreneurship and business and and how he did things and 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 how he iterated uh, when it came to making products, he came up with, he worked on an app called Glimpse that I was really excited about that went away. I mean, before you had stories on Instagram and, and, and things that disappeared on TikTok, there was Glimpse. And it was like short little videos that you could post of what was going on in your life. And I hope that he does more of that. I was always interested in how his brain worked in that matter, in that manner, no matter what else was going on in his life, no matter what other crazy things were going on. Uh, he did Uber. He drove Uber for a while and was going to do like videos with people in Uber before you had all these popular people on YouTube who were putting up videos of, you know, inside their cars. Paul Robinette, Renetto did it first. A long time ago folks so all that to say welcome back Paul it's good to see you uh, I, I hope we hear some of your music uh, in your videos I was actually <laughs> uh, I was a fan of yours when you were a musician when you were a, a CCM musician so um, yeah welcome back and uh, I don't know if I'm going to ever do another one of these again, but we'll see. Bye.